I wanted to make a quick video showing you where all of these NAND gates and other logic gates can be used to create something that most of us would recognize. And most people are familiar with the Tetris L and the fact that you would want to, say, rotate it. So I created this little thing in Logically where when I press the button, it rotates one click counterclockwise. And when I create click on the other one, it creates it and goes clockwise. Now there is, as you can see, there's a glitch as far as when it's it's remembering which way it's going from clockwise to counterclockwise. So that's one of the things I'll need to fix in the logic, but I wanted to show you how you can do this. It's using these things called flip-flops, and I will get into later how you can create your own flip-flops, but for right now I'm actually using the ones that are provided uh, for you in Logically. And if I scroll out here, I can get to this section, which is how it actually counts. So this is using some JK flip-flops, and it's counting in binary. The so as you can see, it goes from 0 to 3. And 3 to 0. So all of that is designed just to do this. This is actually a 16-bit counter, and I have the last two bits with logical 0. Now these two lines then get pumped up to this area here. This is essentially a multiplexer. So it takes the two signals and goes into one of the four lines. So as I can click, it goes through them from the bottom up or from the top down. Now, here is the actual for lack of a um, better word, um, memory addresses of the actual pattern that I'm making. And when this actually comes in as true, then it takes that true signal and ands it together with the, um, with that bit. And then that bit is then, um, goes through um, essentially a demultiplexer to reduce it down to which bit um, from the selection of four it should go to for each one of the light bulbs in this series. So when I zoom out, you can see the entire thing and And rotate it around. Thank you. I hope you like this video.